Yo, what's up YouTube? So I'm back with another, well this is not going to be a review. I'm just going to talk about my shopping experiences at the different coupon companies. So the first place I ever shopped at was Daniel's Jewelry Inc. I did a lot of research on Daniel's Jewelry Inc. before I decided to shop there. I seen good and bad reviews, but most of the bad reviews were just on their customer service which I don't really care about. Like, obviously it still matters. I like to be treated with respect and all, but I'm in there for the Cuban because once I get my Cuban, I'm never going to have to talk to the people that I speak to on the phone ever again. So it's like, what's the point of getting mad? I mean, unless, you know, they're being really disrespectful. Yeah, I'm going to defend myself. But with Daniels, I'm okay with their customer service. They're, they picked up the phone every time I called and they're very straightforward. Every time I ask for a price or whatever, they always give it to me. I mean, I can only imagine working at Daniels, like they're popping. I can only imagine like the dude probably gets calls like every single day, like asking about, you know, any specs of the chain and then just not buy it. I'm sure it happens all the time. So yeah, for me, um, Daniel, Daniel's customer service is, is fine. Um, the wait time, for my first piece, I think I waited about four to five weeks. And I actually have a piece that's coming right now. It's gonna be a rose gold square Cuban. I actually haven't seen a video on YouTube about any square Cubans, so I can't make a I can't wait to make a video about that. And now let's talk about the quality. Like Daniel says one of the best, if not the best quality. Um, well, every company that makes Cubans, I notice like they have a little bit of differences. Like for example, Daniels, their links are like very flat. Like this is a Daniels bracelet. I'm going to show you guys the links. I notice it's just it's like almost completely flat comparing to this um this Lamoxi Jewelers piece. It's like more round. Like the links come up a little more. see but it's just very like it's very thin it's very flat so that's the one thing I noticed about my Daniels piece is that it's more flat um so this piece originally I didn't like it too much because like the links are a little bit like too wide apart in my taste but now like I'm starting to like it more and more because I've been wearing it every day. Like this is my daily wear. I always have this on my left wrist. But um, I actually like the space between the links a little bit more now. Cause like now when you look at both bracelets, like it's like a little bit different. Like this is like a different style compared to this one. This is more tight and more round. And this is just more flat and more gaps in between. So I actually like it cause it's, you know, it's a little bit different. Mm. Their chain hangs straight, their bracelet hangs straight. I mean, everything else is good. Like their quality is really is fire. One thing I noticed is that my Daniel's Jewelry Ink pieces, it's more durable. So whatever other alloys, they mix it with their gold. Like it's definitely more durable comparing to the Moxie Jewelers. Just cause this bracelet, like it gets scratched up pretty easily. But like this bracelet can take a beating. Like it, it just has minor surface surface scratches. So now let's move on to the Moxie Jewelers. Um, the Moxie Jewelers has one of the best customer service, the best customer service um, ever for me. I first saw their work on Instagram. I really was impressed. So I decided to pull up to the store and check it out because I don't live too far from it. Once I pulled up, I talked to the owner, Eureka. He was a really cool guy. He was really down to earth. I got a really good, I got a real good vibe from him. And he's got like the best prices ever. So that first day I brought this bracelet. When I first bought it, I didn't have the sleek lock. It was a box lock. But um, yeah, I bought this on the first day cause he got me on a really good price. And the bracelet is just extremely, extremely well made. differences so 
so yeah the moxie jewelers also has very very good quality but the box lock that i have from the moxie jewelers i wasn't a big fan of just because the polish wasn't like as clean as daniel's and also the shape wasn't as like the edges weren't as straight so i will give the box lock to daniel's but when it comes to the links like i said i like both links but like the consistency of the spacing between the links is a little bit um, better at a Moxie Jewelers. But I seen Daniels make like perfect Cubans too. Like if y'all watch Cubano's video, all his pieces are like perfect. I know this, which is why I'm making videos for the Moxie Jewelers. Like I, I show him these videos cause I just feel like when you treat somebody good, like when you help somebody else out, they'll help you out. It's just how it works. So I really try to, you know, put this company out there, let people know about them. Cause I mean, the work is good. The work is very good and the price is good. So why not help a guy out? He's nice. And yeah, I help him out. He helps me out. I mean, this sleek lock that I just got upgraded at Lamoxy Jewelers is like, <laughs> it's pressure. It's so perfect. That's why I don't even wear this bracelet every day. Just cause like, it's so well made. Like, just look at that. I love how the edge on the, on the sleek lock is like very straight. Like the ones I see at Daniels is like more round. So yeah, I highly recommend Daniels and I also highly recommend the Moxie Jewelers. Another place that I checked out was, oh actually let me not forget about the Moxie Jewelers Cuban ring. In my opinion, I think the Moxie Jewelers has the best Cuban ring. Like I just really like the, the fact that like it's not completely flat like it's kind of it kind of looks sharp the edges look sharp and it's like tight just really like the details i mean it's a real cube and you can see it, even the inside is <clears throat> okay so the next place the next place i want to talk about is larry's um i never actually bought any pieces from larry's but when I first got my 8mm chain from the Moxie Jewelers, um, I took it to Larry's and got it cut 2 inches because it was a little too long for my taste. So I took it to Larry's, they checked it out, they cut it for me, they gave me a great price. Um, their customer service was also um, extremely, extremely good. They had a lot of questions, like they were asking me questions. They're cool people. So... The only reason why I didn't buy from the Larry's is just because I've seen some reviews on YouTube and their style is just not really my taste. There's a little bit, there's a little bit too much gaps in between the links for my taste. Um, the next place I want to talk about is CMG Links. I, ne I never shopped at CMG Links, but I did call them a bunch of times. They never responded. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos on them. They have good and bad reviews but some of the bad reviews is about the quality so like this one guy's chain doesn't like hang completely straight and like on cmg's instagram in their bio it literally says like it's not done right if it's not hanging straight so it's like <laughs> also i saw a video on daniel's instagram like they posted a video of cmg like shorting people on carrots like it was supposed to be a 10 carat bracelet it came out to be like night carrot so you know that just kind of like that just that did it i don't want to shop there um ray's golden cash is another place i checked out um, i'm very very impressed by their work i think their cubans are fire fire but <clears throat> i talked to the lady norma um through text messages we went back and forth um i think it just it went a little too long and like she just lost interest or whatever she didn't think i was serious so she stopped responding but um i will actually recommend go like raise gold and cash just because the reviews i've seen and like i've been on their instagram their work is really really good their price might be a little bit on the higher side but for a couple more hundred dollars for a perfect cuban it's worth it um one last place was called Las Vilas. I actually never been there. I never really like, I never did too much research on them, 
but I did see their video on YouTube by this one dude. Like he had like a 13 millimeter Cuban made by Las Vilas and like that Cuban was also extremely well made. But I didn't shop there just cause I already have like five places in mind to shop from. So never really got to it. My next piece, I will get a rope chain. That's like a 20, this is a 24. So I'm gonna get like a rope chain with like a pendant of my last name. And y'all let me know um, where should I get a rope chain with, you know, I mean the pendant, I already know where I'm gonna get a pendant from cause it's gonna be a custom pendant. It's gonna be like, my last name is CHI. So like I, I'm planning on having like the C, yellow gold, H, white gold and Rose go for the last letter, like. But y'all let me know where should I get a rope chain from that's decent quality and good price. Like the only reason why I'm not gonna go with Chikoji is just cause my man's charging like 60 a G or a 50 a G or some shit. Like he's he's texting heavy. And like like Cubano said, he's not even making his own jury. He's he's the middleman. So why not get it from the source if you can? So yeah, I'm just, I'm basically asking like, do you guys have any source for rope chains? <laughs> Cause if you do like help your boy out. Mm. So I think this is it for this video. I appreciate you guys watching and you guys let me know in the comment box below if you have any questions. Peace, stay safe.